Real Stories Tapes True Crime is your new true crime podcast fix. In our first season, we'll explore suspicious deaths at a California hospital and a skydiver landing dead on a suburban driveway with a bag containing guns, drugs, and night vision goggles. To join our investigation, search and subscribe to Real Stories Tapes True Crime on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you find your podcasts. This ain't no fairy tale high school. This ain't no fairy tale story. Everything is real here. LW see black people 98% of the time. You share pain, you share tears. We are lifelong friends forever. Teachers, please close our doors. We are in an active hall suite. I'm a senior, and it's make or break time for me. I'm about to get ready to leave high school. Y'all going to jail, because y'all in a stolen car. Come on, Roy! Oh! Bad, a little bit. This ain't the safest place to be. Anything crazy can happen. The fall testing that we got, bottom line is we're going to all be held accountable for oh, yeah. what happens. Number one in the class. Check me out. If I applied to Georgia Tech, which has one of the best engineering programs in the world. 22 questions correct out of a total of 45. You don't have to repeat the whole course. Yeah, I feel it. It's OK. I try. Good morning, Orangeburg. It's a beautiful day and an important week ahead for Bruins fans. A lot of talk around town about last week's football win with that amazing last-minute touchdown. New principal Dr. Steven Peters must be pleased as his year gets off to a flying start. But for now, all eyes will rest on the varsity basketball squad as their first game is just one week away. Good morning, faculty, staff, and students. What an exciting day at Bruin Nation. We have a lot of work ahead of us. We're back to business as usual. We're having a great day at the Orangeburg Wilkinson High School. The hard work we put in the past month is paying off. We've got lower suspensions. We've got better academic engagement. Secretary, how are you? What we're doing is working. I use the illustration of two dollar bills, two American dollar bills. This dollar bill in my left hand is valued at a dollar, and this dollar bill in my right hand is valued at a dollar. But if I change the physical shape and structure and look of this dollar bill by crumpling it up and by uh, throwing it on the floor and stepping on it, what is its value now? It's the same. Why then? Do we treat children who look like this different from children who look like this? In basketball, you know, some people tend to think we babysit all day long. 
Every time that we get to relate basketball to life, we do that. <laughs> Rendell has always been a go-getter. I don't see him not being responsible. I don't see him not wanting to be something in life. Rendell, he was inspiring. He's a different type of cat. Oh, oh. Yeah, I love him. That's my brother. Good crash. Like, he know a lot of people, and a lot of people know him. I know a lot of people know me, but I want a lot of people to know me like they know him. I got a rock. I got a rock. Rendell's like the backbone of the team. He holds a lot on his shoulders. Rendell is popular with the ladies. But okay, I don't want to get into. I don't want to get into that. To the top, I'm trying to stab me. Y'all so I want no not. Yeah. Hey, I want that new cool that y'all talk so y'all can see me hanging out the window with my. Not my bad guy, but I'm flashing with my red shot. I can see him looking sad now. I want to smash out. Ferragamo, hold my forty, yo, without it standing out. Hey, Rob. Hey, come on, let me talk to you. Watch out, Lee. I just wanted to nip the situation in the bud from the other night, just to move on from it. Let me see. We had, we had an incident uh, where Rendell, uh, he, expe he expressed his uh, anger in the wrong way. Actually, he had, uh, at, a, at the time, it looked like he got into a little scuffle with another guy on the court. I had caught an attitude late night. I, I let my temper take me to where I wasn't supposed to be on the court as a leader on the team. Okay. Well, you know, as long as you know, you know, and, and that's the main thing, you know, just like a parent beating a child. If I'm gonna beat my child, I want him to know why he's getting his butt toe up. Okay, so what, what do you feel led to the where we are right now? Frustration. Not thinking really before you at. Yeah. Supposed to be the leader of the team, period. You know good and well there's gonna be other situations where you're gonna be just as frustrated. It's more than about basketball, it's about life. You know, you're gonna get frustrated in life later on. So it's important that you learn how to deal with it, you know. And don't don't try to live life without getting frustrated. That's not realistic. But you deal with it and you keep moving on, moving on, moving on. You gotta go get it now. And I guess it's more so that now, because of my senior, like, a team on my back now. Keep moving. Y'all can talk. Keep moving. What's up, guys? Ooh, look at the top. Ooh. Come on, man. Y'all act like y'all messing with somebody you don't know how to dress or something. Come on, just oh. Hey, Mr. Dantu. Oh. Hey, man, all I need is my gold in my mouth. Now I'll be good. <laughs> Put it home. I know you paid a lot for that. You don't want to know, bro. <laughs> but when you get there, it don't matter what it costs. That's what I'm trying to teach y'all. <laughs> hey, this is good. <laughs> It's just a tie. You need to be very serious, Vernon, because the finish line is right there. All right? And I know you like to play, you like to have fun, but this is a time for you to be very serious yes, about sir. your future. What, what are your plans? Right now, I just have a passion for nursing. OK. Like Beautiful. Have you started applying to well, colleges? Well, I started applying, but I had a change of mind. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to New York where my family is at. Okay. I'm going to a technical college up Who's there. Who's in New York? My aunts. Okay. The reason why I want to go to New York, for one, because it's New York. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then, like, by me being a gay male, mm -hmm. it's, like, it's, that's where the scene is at for gay males, mm -hmm. is in New York. Can't Good wait. plan. That's a great plan. Remember what I said about being serious. Yes. All right? I mean, I'm not telling you not to have fun and enjoy this part of your journey. I can't wait. I'm so excited. All right, we'll see you. I'm going to stay on top of it. Yes, sir. You do the same. All righty. I don't want to be here in Orangeburg. It's nothing in Orangeburg for me. I'm just too big of a person to be in this little town and not experiencing things and going out and seeing different things. Wait, against 
over there, dog. America's biggest gangster. You got K Love. Got my boy Big Sets right here. You got Swag A over here. I see myself on school as a cool dude. Down to earth, everybody rocking with me. That's just something my family known for, like. That swag is there at all times. I can't help that. That's something I was born in. I came out the womb with flavor. Wendell has a great chance of getting into college. We have a guy working on his highlight tape right now. Mm -hmm. When that comes out, I send it. I got a list of colleges mm -hmm. that I send out to. And that's the route I'm hoping to go with Rendell. Right. right. And I, I talked to him last week. He was kind of kind of down. You know, and um, he has a whole lot going on. Okay, you know, has a whole lot going on. You know, with the uh, outside situations, family, you know, that baby and everything. And, uh, what baby? He has a baby. He's expecting getting one. Yeah, somebody here mm -hmm. in school. Mm -hmm. yes. Wow. He is the oldest of maybe five brothers. Okay. So he helps out a lot at home. Mm -hmm. My dad works out of town. I know just from talking with him in the past that weighs on him. More at sometimes more more than others. So college for him is gonna be like a vacation. Oh, yeah. When when I talked with him last, he said, "Coach, I am so ready to go." Am I the fool ready? Yeah. Ready to come and get the fool. Well, Mike, what you want to drink? Get yourself a drink and go sit down and eat your food. Bro, I want you to go to college, and I want you to be somebody, and I want you to do everything that I did not get a chance to do, or and, and, and the reason why I didn't get a chance to do it, because I had you. I had you. I had you at 16. You have a way better life than I have. You got a lot of people that's out there, you know, rooting for you, you know? So do something that we couldn't do, you know? You just got to try to make it out. That's just something I've always seen since I was little. Like, I know I'm going to play basketball on in college. I know I'm going to do this, that, and the third. That's my boy, as long as you make me proud. I mean, with the scholarship thing, I'm just, you're just in waiting process right now. It's going to come. Time. Yeah, yeah it's going to come. Time you'll get it. As long as you keep working hard, like, you know, hard work always pay off. Always. I want the scholarship. There's so many wrong ways you can get the money. Right. I could have been going in the streets. streets. Right. Robbing. Right. Selling drugs. Selling dope. No. Anything like to right. get money. Cause it, I mean, you you probably have about five, six crackheads walk past our house every night. Right. Cause I had so many big cousins to go to jail for drugs. Or just because they wanted to support their family. And just think, I'd just be thinking like, if they would have went to school, you'd have had nothing to worry about. You gotta do something with yourself. You got to. I'm 17. I got a daughter on the way. So I just want these scholarships. I just, I'm trying to get these papers. That's all. I'm trying to do what I got to do in these books. I'm letting, I'm letting them have it out there on the court. So somebody, somebody gonna see me. Money-wise, she's different from the other prince we had. <laughs> money-wise, that dude got money out of the wazoo. Yeah, that's 60. All right, and I'll get it back for you. All right? All right, tell her happy birthday. All right, it's just money. And uh, God's blessed me with the ability to go out and generate and make it. You know, how fortunate I am to be able to share it with uh, kids that are unfortunate. Dr. Pierce is a cool dude. He's a real cool dude. He show love to everybody. If you trying to help yourself, then he gonna help you. I'm gonna be so broke when I leave this place. <laughs> Seriously. Huh? What? In the 
hallways, a child grabs me and says, I need to talk to you. I got to talk to you. They're telling you you have to move by when? I, I guess I don't know. Fine, text her back and ask her. See? Wait a minute. OK, so when she texts you back, you see me today and find out what is going on. Keep me posted, all right? OK, all right. So this child works 33 hours a week. So she just told me her mom texted her and told them that she needs to find a place to stay because they just got put out of public housing. They had an inspection, and the inspection didn't pass. And that she needs to try to find some place to live because the mom says she's taking her little brothers and they're going to a shelter. So she told this child that she needs to try to find some place to stay. And so are you still, what are you going to major in? Are you still thinking about doing nursing in mm -hmm. any school there? Doing, still doing nursing. You got to get out this golf forsaken city. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not, but I've been here too long. Um, there's a $65 application fee, and <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, let's see okay. if I'm confused. Like, how can I have that many absences? Well, if you're more than 30 minutes late, it's an absence. So oh, that might okay, be what it is yeah. for first block, yeah. There's a September, October, you missed days in November, December. I see you have, like, February 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. That was, like, three days back to back. Do you know where you yeah, were those days? Four, yeah, I know. Do you have an excuse? No, <laughs> but I know where I was. Um, this is where you are, um, graduation-wise. But that's a D average. Okay. So. You want to have at least a C average going into any school. You want to definitely um, work on bringing that up. Yeah. You talked to your mom? Mm -hmm. You already talked to your mom? Mm-hmm. You haven't heard anything else from her? She texted me, and been, it was just like, let me see what she's saying. I just told her that I was going to stay with her. So what about your sister? Where is your sister going to stay? She's she coming with me. OK. And you already talked to your mom yes, about both of them staying with you. Yes, All right, and what'd she say? She said it's fine. All right. Take, take that one. All right, text me and let me know if anything happens, you need me to do something. All right, keep me posted. Okay. It's very nice of you for helping the way you're helping. I mean, that's what life is all about. We're supposed to help each other. All right? Okay. Thank you, sweetie. Timberland, thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Mm -mm. Wow. Yes, ma'am. I was in Ms. Johnson today. She had a look at the college in New York or whatever. Guess how much the application fee is? What? $67. I yeah. was like, for a community college? Like, what? Yeah, that doesn't sound right. But that's what it said on the website, so I was like, oh, God, no. Vernon is older than me, and I scold him like he's the child or he's the little brother. In your situation, cheerleading doesn't really matter. It's basically a non-factor, especially when you're talking about academics. Mm -hmm. So, study, study, study. We met in middle school, actually. Oh, yeah, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> it wasn't until our senior year that's when we bonded like brother and sister. Here we go. <laughs> I love her. Like, I, I couldn't ask for anything more than a friend like her. Our senior year, he ended up staying with me and my mother. Home sweet home. I was homeless, but what changed my life, like what changed me from acting the way I acted, oh, Breonna Davis. All my junk, dirty clothes, clean clothes, everything. 
Got the Gucci bag, you know what I mean? My bed is right here. I pull the bed out from right there, and I blow it up right here. That just be right here. Big old bed, pillow, flat screen TV. You know Not the mean? best TV in the house. Teachers that tell you, oh, that's a trouble child. He ain't gonna do nothing with his life. He just gonna be another bum on the corner. He gonna be stuck in Orangeburg or whatever. But if people knew what I went through, they'll understand how, the reason why I act out. I want to get my PhD. The higher in education you get, the more money you're likely to get. Like, I'm not just gonna, like, sit there and look at the bills pile up. I know that I have to put the work in and ease the debt off my father's shoulders. All right, let's hit the trail, Gail. So the finances are tight, but, you know, you either find a way or you can find a reason to complain, you know. Gonna do something, I'm gonna do something. So that didn't take long, did it? See you later. Yes, ma'am. You got napkins? Of course. Have a good day. Okay. I made a promise, even as like a kid, I made promises and stuff, and I like to keep my promises. Like, I'll be like, yeah, daddy, we're gonna have that and that. So I wanna do my best to keep those promises because they're not just something that I know that he wants, they're something that I want as well. I think I have a good chance. People have said I have a good chance. I believe in myself. All those applications you put in, you're going to start getting these acceptance letters, emails from these colleges. What would be your number one choice? Um, Georgia Tech. Mm -hmm. And so you did your application, and you're just waiting. We're very proud of you. All right? Yes, OK. You can get in, but if it costs too much for your family to pay for your tuition or for your room and board and fees and food, then you're probably not going to be able to go there. I do think I deserve at least one scholarship. At least one. A college education in America right now is more expensive than buying a house. If a student gets out of college and if they have $200,000 in debt and they're only making $50,000 a year, why'd you go to college? I'm trying to play it like, yeah, if I get this scholarship, I'll go to school for free. My mom and daddy won't have to worry so much about me in school. We can just get them out of here and get them home safely today. Why do y'all cuss so much, man? I'm telling you. Can I have a dollar? I don't, I'll have a dollar. I heard you got some news, man. You ain't share with me. Oh, about your girl. Oh, yeah, my little. I didn't know that. You did? No. See, I just I thought found... you knew that. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Got That's your daughter. girlfriend from a while, though, right? You've been with her for a while. So you okay? I mean, you should... that'll change your life right there. Mm -hmm. Slow me down a little bit. Yeah. Show you down a whole lot. She's still here in school or she takes you home? No. All right. I'm here for you. All right? The good and the bad. All right. All right, guys. All right, dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this house have every thing that played in 
of me growing up, being punished, being taught lessons, arguments, turn into fist fights, turn into the police coming, like the stove catching on fire and everything. Like this had so many. The biggest water fight in Orangeburg. And then when the tub broken, we had to go warm water up in the pot. And then we had like a little container that we put the water in. This right here was my mom's room. Can you imagine a mother and three kids sleeping in one bed? This been like this ever since I can remember. See that hole up there on that wall? I punched the wall because I told my mom and then I was gay. My boyfriend at the time, he texted me. And then my mom tried to text him, play as me. And then he called, he was like, oh, hey, baby. My mom was like, baby? And she got all extra for no reason. Me and my mom, we don't speak as much as we should as a mother and a son. We didn't just break down and just like, don't talk to me and I won't talk to you. We just slowly distanced ourselves from each other. I be getting in my feelings a lot about certain things, but I have to think like, what are you getting in your feelings for, Vernon? Like, don't let this little incident stop you from where you're gonna go in life. I know I got a daughter on the way. I know if I go to college, I don't want like her to want for nothing. I'm still in the process of getting recruited, scholarship. It's a lot, not only on us, but our parents. Like, cause if I don't get no scholarship, my parents still gonna have to pay for college. Your parents still gonna have to pay for college. And just like help us with the baby until we get on our feet. It's just a lot. Well, I think he'll probably get a scholarship. It's almost game time in the Bruins' den, with just one day to go before the big logo rivalry basketball game. A lot is on the line for this team, but especially for captain Rendell Middleton. What's up, Kev? Y'all listening to Boy, y'all. Y'all hurt me, man. I'm gonna give it back to you, Fred. I'll give it back to you, Fred. Oh, you're so Get sweet. Over. It's now 9.45, and I've issued $260 cash today. If it's agreeable, we're gonna do the two cheers, go from the beginning to the end. He says, good to go, we out. I know her mother's gonna come to the house and get it. <laughs> I'm calling my mama, see if she wanna go. You think she gonna come? I know he maybe wishes that he could have a better relationship with his mom. I think he finds it hard, but he pushes it aside sometimes. She not gonna pick up. Hello? Oh, Lord. Hello? Uh, um, can you make it to the game? Can you make it? What time the game gonna start? At 6, if I'm not mistaken. 6 o'clock. Yeah, you come in. You want to come? Come see. Come see your son. Yeah. Question. Is what do we, what do the parents have to do? Do they have to be dressed up or what? No, not really. I feel as though deep down inside, Vernon misses his mom. He wants comfort from her. Hello? I'm good, how are you? What's the matter? Yeah, that's really bad. I I just helped a lady t this morning. We had to come up with $300 to give her, and I gave every penny I had. But listen, I will see her in the morning if I can help in any way, OK? All right. 
Okay, I will. Take care. Bye bye. Parents calling me to help turn their lights back on. I mean, how did we get to this point? I mean, how did we go from can I, you know, get to, get a bag of chips to finding a place to live and helping them get money to go into that house to turn the lights back on. I mean, at some point in time, I have to um, draw the line and say, I can't help. And it's, I can't help. Deputies are searching for a man they say is behind a deadly shooting. Our Billie Jean Shaw was at the scene today. Around 2 o'clock, investigators discovered his body in his St. Anne Street home. They say he sustained multiple gunshot wounds to his upper body. One of the seniors, her boyfriend, was also the father of her baby, shot the guy and killed him. And the guy that got killed is the cousin of some of our kids. They told him he was in the house. He walked in there, and that's when he pulled out. I and the baby was in there. Mm-hmm. And he pulled out the gun and shot the boy. I just don't know what happened. Why we? What made him pull out the gun and shoot him? Some. I don't know if it's game related. I don't know what's going on. Mm. So the body still sick? Mm -hmm. That baby in one year, so that's what, a newborn. So what changes this, y'all? What, 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 what changes this? What stops this kind of stuff, though? How do you stop this from happening? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I know. So where are you going when you leave school? St. You usually ride the bus home? Where's St. Ann's? Where the where it happened? Y'all want you sure you wanna go over there? You all <clears throat> y'all need to be mindful of what y'all do when you leave school today. All right, mom. Um, seriously. Schools don't have procedures for things like, you know, this, other than making sure that the counselors are ready. If I'm lost, imagine how they feel. You know, I, I'm lost for words right now because I, I, I can't even comprehend what's going on. So. right here next to OW, then of course you're going to see fighting, you're going to see violence, you're going to see drug dealing. There's nothing to do. It's easy to get in trouble. Everybody doing the same thing. Part of being in the streets, man, it's kind of like every man for themselves, you know? Not being able to trust a lot of people, close to nobody, you know what I mean? It's a hood everywhere. You can't just put that to blame. I mean, that does affect people. But also, it's about how much do you not want to be a product of your environment? is all about tonight, all right? So, you know, I don't want you to get burnt out, but you got a million reasons to be turned for this game. I'm talking about when you're tired, you got to pull energy from your toes, find energy from somewhere. Come about 7.30. Game time. Oh, yeah, game time. Right shake, right shake. Oh, yeah, let's get it right. It's 
equally important that we celebrate superstars who academically prove themselves in our classroom each and every day. So tonight, we've decided at an athletic event to celebrate those students who have straight A's who've made my principal's list. So join me in celebrating their achievements academically here tonight, please. As we usually don't get that much recognition, finally we got a little bit of shine, it was nice. Maybe Vernon's mom would come, or maybe she wouldn't. I tried to keep the situation positive because I knew if I talked negatively, he probably would have thought, oh, maybe she wouldn't come or something like that. I was excited and nervous at the same time because I didn't want to mess up anything. And then she was there. It was a really big moment for me. And she brought my sister and my little brother. This is a very big year for Vernon. This is a big year for both of us. Well, all the seniors, basically. Guys, let me tell you something. As long as we play together, as long as we believe in each other, we can't be beaten. We can't be beaten. That means we got to stand behind each other. That means we got to pick each other up when you make a mistake. And we got to be like that. We got to be a close-knit family, fellas. And I'm telling you like this, the team that goes out there and that plays together and that execute is going to win this game. You got me? Sir. Let's pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Team on three, team on three. One, two, three, team! Great start so far tonight for the Bruins as they have a 10-point lead. Captain Rendell Milton has got the team fired up for this game. Bruins down on offense. Come on! in the fight now. Now we playing one, hit or miss, okay? Team, one, two, three, team. team. Bruins, now on defense. Yeah! They've got to hold on to this lead. Turnover. Quick step. Goes for three. Bang, it's good. That's another three ball for the Bruins. I've got to say, folks, right now, this team looks unmatched. Here's the buzzer. It's halftime. Hey, we where we want to be, baby. We where we want to be because you know what? All we do is talk about life and getting over challenges and, 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 and just one thing after another. Let's go out there right now, seal the deal in the fourth quarter. If you with me, put your hand in there. Yeah. Let's go. Team on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Let's go. I'm not sure what's going on with the Bruins right now here in the second half. They're starting to give away points like it's candy. Get your bet on defense. Middle, middle, middle. Seconds to go. The score is tied at 61 apiece, and the Bruins have given away a free throw. Could that be the nail in the coffin for OW? Bruins with a quick comeback. He puts it up. He scores. The Bruins are back in the game. They have regained the lead. 20, 
Heartbreaking loss for OW. Man, that one has to sting. <laughs> well. people down that shot me y'all proud of me i gotta give them something to be happy for something anything you feel good for something positive instead of be trying to come and get me out of jailhouse or something like that you know we're in the middle there's the champ right here now hey the champ is here there's the champ right here now the other team, the other team coach came and said, you are an awesome player, Ra Ra. Said, you going somewhere, boy. Hey, that's my baby. You going somewhere and put mommy in the new house and move me to California or something. I hope so. Thank you. Go, Ra Ra. Go, Ra Ra. When I'm praying, something good, something out of here. It's getting real, this year, 2016, is real for me. I don't know about nobody else, it's real for me, you know. I'm actually really excited for her. I know she's gonna get into Georgia Tech, so I don't know why she's even worried about it. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey. How you doing? Are you ready for the big reveal? I just want to get it over with. I'm very nervous. Nope. It's I didn't get into Georgia Tech. It's pretty tough to get into. And sometimes they don't always pick the best students. Yeah, yes. Angela, bye. I don't like to fail at anything. I don't, failure is not a good feeling. My birth mother passed away when I was in second grade. And she's one of the people that helped me to become the type of person I am today. And I knew that she would just want me to succeed. So that's why I want to succeed, to make her proud. I know she wouldn't be disappointed since I didn't get accepted into Georgia Tech. I know she would want me to keep trying for other schools. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. I think we're at a point right now where you have to make a decision. Go out there compete hard. There's no room for mistakes in playoffs at all. Okay. 
I've invited probably like 40, maybe 50. I told him now. That's I told him brother if he didn't quit smoking that weed around here, I would kill him. And I'm telling you right now, I got on my side that I'll. All right, that ain't. Bro, come on. Chill out.